Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is really quick. I just wanted to test my favorite foundation, which is Essay La Demore, uh, against Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer. Uh, I'm planning to do more videos like this with different kind of foundations compared to Estee Lauder, which is my favorite. So if you guys want to see uh, different foundations, you have any uh, suggestions, like your favorite formulas that you want me to test out, compare, uh, leave in the comments below and I'll definitely check them out. But for now, the first in the series is Beyond Perfecting Concealer Foundation. And I started off priming with uh, Estee Lauder's primer. I always use it so I already know what, everything about it. Um, I am in the shade Sandalwood and Estee Lauder Foundation claims to be full coverage, medium to full I should say, and uh, it's transfer resistant, lightweight, it won't change color, and it won't smudge, and it lasts through heat and humidity, and it's really flawless and natural. Now Clinique's Beyond Perfecting Foundation Concealer it claims to be moisturizing, it claims to be for all skin types. Which is the same as Estee Lauder's minus the moisturizing part. And it's a foundation concealer in one for natural beyond perfected look that lasts all day. It's lightweight moisturizing makeup covers thoroughly without clogging pores. Screen, skin breathes comfortably. Color stays true even through sweat and humidity. Due to rich pigment level that enhances this flawless coverage makeup, shades may appear deeper when first applied. Once blended completely, allow to dry, beyond perfecting makeup will mount to your skin for a beyond perfected flawless look. A little goes a long way. So I'm testing all these claims that this foundation uh, claims to do. And uh, for the most part, as you can see, the application was good. Um, it's really <laughs> full coverage, I'll tell you that much. Uh, a little did go a long way. It was like... I had to add more double wear later because it was just not comparable to the Beyond Perfecting. And I was able to even put it underneath my eye and I hit my dark circles that you could see. The golden was a really good shade for me. The person color matched me was awesome. Um, I did enjoy the color and the finish. I, it's definitely matte and I do wish I moisturized my skin better before doing it. Like both the double wear and the Clinique was really dry on my nose area. So I would definitely moisturize better wherever you have dry patches at. But that's no fault, that's no fault to the, the foundation, it's just the fault of me. Um, but yeah, it was really blendable. It was nice. Um, and I actually really enjoyed the application. So for all the claims, excluding the moisturized part, but I mean, it was really matte. It looked like it had powder on and everything. But to give it a fair chance to guess the Estee Lauder in terms of smudgeability and all that, because it did not claim to be smudge proof, I did end up setting both of my side of my face with Sasha Buttercup, which I usually don't do because Estee Lauder is able to be smudge proof without any powder. So I do think that's what made my skin even more dry. I don't usually powder my entire face, only like where I highlight at underneath my eye. But because I set the entire face, it definitely made my skin really dry all throughout. But here is um, Clinique and Estee Lauder side by side. Um, there's definitely a big difference. Clinique is definitely more yellow tone. I feel like a little lighter than Estee Lauder's. Well, Estee Lauder's a lot more natural. And um, I feel like when I was went to work today, a lot of people were saying, because most of them didn't know I had two different foundations on. <laughs> I did test this out for eight hours. So I did go out in public with two different foundations on so for eight hours and for the most part um the only way i could tell the difference and then i did tell me like, oh i like that's the lot of side better could looks more natural but when i first walked in and when everybody said oh your face looks too toned you know let's say it was not <laughs> saying it because they didn't want to be mean or whatever but um i really couldn't tell the difference either i mean clinique definitely hit my dark spots more and the estee lauder was way more natural but it was not it was like a minute difference you know so I was pretty pleased with the end result. After coming home from work, this is the final results. It's winter time and, and where I'm at, so it's cold. I was sneezing, I wiped my nose and whatever. And I got some makeup on my uh my sleeve. On the Clinique side. I knew it was that side. Um but I ended up wiping off most of the makeup off my nose anyway because I was it was so dry and patchy. So that's why my nose look naked there. <laughs> Overall, I would rank the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. Um, 
an 8 out of 10. I think it's a really good foundation if you like full coverage, but it's easy if to get cakey, and I would not recommend it for people with dry skin. Uh, the only way I would recommend it if you have really good moisturizer and you really prep your skin beforehand. So let me know in the comments if you guys try Clinique Beyond Perfecting. If this is one of your favorite foundations, let me know and tell me why you love it so much. Um, like I said, I'll definitely try to do more videos like this in the future. So let me know what foundations you guys want me to try next. And I hope to see you in the next video, okay? Uh, have a wonderful day or night or whatever time you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!